I wanted to answer to this, and I have another thing I wanted to react to, two things, but let's start with this. Okay, so for one, you know, I kind of find it weird that people think that the only type of people who can be Karens are people who are white women and specifically racist women which is so funny because it's like you literally are saying a racist term by saying racist cave women um you're referencing the neanderthal blood right which is definitely um kind of you know racist i mean unprovoked why are you hating on white people without them actually literally attacking you at the moment. I understand in a reactionary situation, yes, it makes sense to react back to a racist person with the same type of energy. That makes sense definitely, okay? But, I don't know, like, really, you think that this is a good thing? way to basically talk about white people and then claim that they're racist but that's a side point anyway let's look at the definition of karen what's a karen someone who is in their middle age usually not someone who is younger and I will say, Flower Tower, you are younger, so technically you couldn't really be a Karen quite. But I get what one could say is associated with Karen that is very common among black women. Okay, so let's realize what people mainly talk about with Karen. They talk about customer service and Karens. They talk about people asking to speak to a manager, right? That's exactly what they ask for. And it's, that's what they basically associate, you know, Karens with is specifically people who are tough customers, basically, the type that are looking for a problem, right? The type that asks for a manager and make you have to work even harder, right? Well, this is honestly a common occurrence among black women. So if we really want to say who's really more of a Karen, I will say, in all my experiences with customer service, I've worked three different kinds of jobs in customer service that had specifically, honestly, I've had some jobs also um, in customer service on the phone. I will say that the most racist calls that I got were specifically from black women. Um, think, for example... I have worked as a research associate for certain um, political campaigns that were putting out certain uh, surveys and so forth, things of that nature, um, different clients. I used to work for this one company that basically worked for all sorts of um, different types of campaigns basically um but many of the time the people who would answer who were the most rude were actually the black people and the black women specifically what i was told that if i was not a black woman and she assumed that i was a white woman that she was going to hang up on me because i was white <laughs> That's how racist these people are. Like, they will literally act like, I don't like you simply because you're white. That's pretty racist. And, I mean, if it was someone who was white, people would really frown upon that. But if it's a black person, it's not. 
Then on top of it, like, I've seen people who would scream, like, racist epithets at people because they thought they were white. I'm just saying. And this is an experience for me. And I mean, like, I'm not obviously white. Anyone can see. I'm not specifically a white person myself. So I'm coming from a very biased kind of perspective, really. Anyway, um... So first off, I mean, like, even in situations like that, I thought that would be a good example to bring up because this is a situation where they can't see me. So it can't be any, like, um, nonverbals that are being given off or anything of that nature. But it just seemed like, in my experience, the black people were always much, much more racist and rude and very um, problematic as opposed to the white respondents. And this is on a basis of not even seeing them face to face. Now, let's deal with it face to face because maybe you would think, okay, maybe they didn't know your race. Maybe if you're a black woman, who is, you know, a waitress or, you know, um, somebody who is uh, a crew member when I was younger or uh, working at a store for, like, different types of... um, I remember I used to work at Kohl's when I was 22, I think, or 21. 22, I think it was, Um, and I was working there seasonally but um yeah I've worked at different places with customer service in my experience many of the time any place that had to do with anything to do with selling anything in any store okay it could be a clothing store it could be a restaurant sit down restaurant McDonald's, it could be Taco Bell, for all I care. It doesn't matter. Any place that I've worked, the black women have generally had a situation where it's not just black women, but it's just generally black people, but black women would be the main ones, basically, where they would basically be looking for some kind of issue, okay? It always be looking for some problem in basically the restaurant and their order, um, you know, any particular issue. So then they can get a deal, basically. So then they can talk to a manager. So then that manager can give them a deal. So if we're really talking about Karens, back to Karens, the definition of a Karen is someone who's basically giving you a hard time, asking to speak with your manager, causing more trouble with you. Well, that would be black women in my experience, because black women, most of the time in my experience, it would be the black women trying to start up a problem with you. So then they can basically talk to a manager because they will ask for a manager they think that's a white thing no black women ask for a manager way more honestly than other people do and then try and ask for a deal from that manager they're always trying to cheat you out of some kind of free meal basically and on top of that whole situation it's not just that Yes, black women are Karens. I think they're the biggest Karens. But it's not just that kind of situation, really, honestly. Because, let's be completely honest here. There are situations where a black woman is not even trying to get a deal out of anybody. But she's still really trying to cause really big problems to the employees, okay? Like, for example, there's a black woman who specifically, 
had a whole situation where she climbed through. The drive through. I want to show some people this. I think it's important to show this lady had an issue with the employees and climbed through the employee drive through window because somebody didn't get her ranch. They got her whole order right, but because they didn't get her ranch, she climbed through the window and started screaming a whole bunch and intimidating people. Let's see. Let's watch it. I mean, you're saying that white women are the biggest Karens. I'm sorry. I don't really think so from this. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was Jack in the Box. That's interesting. I'm sorry, this is a commercial. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Do you want to expand on that? This is about the system protecting abusers. This is all going to come out. She said, rated R, only in theaters Friday. A video shows a woman climbing through the drive through window and twerking at a jack in the box. While the woman is interacting with employees, one of them brings her an item. She heads back to her car through the drive through window and twerks. TikTok hair King Avi, who posted the video, laughs and says, twerk for me. He also said that the woman yelled at the employees to give her ranch dressing. I just wanted curly fries. <laughs> So, yeah, and you mean to tell me that white women are the biggest Karens of customer service? And you got to deal with black women who definitely cause so much issues in customer service. On the topic of uh, specifically uh, drive through I personally remember experiencing a situation where there was this one person, well, this, this couple actually, and there was black man and black woman, and specifically the black woman was basically saying that um, she was upset because We had an order out, and I will say the meal set that it was like $5, but it really wasn't. It was like $8 or something like that that we were charging them, you know. But the thing was, they complained about this for 30 minutes in our drive through They would not move because it was 2 or $3 more, you know. And then they ended up even leaving their meal after all that. And yes, they asked to speak with the manager. In fact, they stayed talking to the manager for a very, very, very long time. And they wouldn't give up on how they saw the sign saying $5 meal while we were charging them 7 or $8. And they wouldn't give it up. They just kept trying to ask for some kind of deal. So I'm just saying that there are plenty of issues 
regarding black customers and many black female customers are definitely Karens. If this isn't a Karen, then I don't know what is causing issue as a customer. This is the most problematic customer that could ever occur. Well, I mean, besides someone becoming actually violent and actually beating someone up, but you could see she was ready to do that, actually. Um, so, I mean, come on now. Like, you saying that black women can't be Karens, I'm pretty sure that they can. And I think actually more of the definition of a Karen than many white women. Not saying that no white woman climbs through someone's drive through People do different things, and I don't think it's specific to your race, but I'm seeing where is it more common? It's more common among black women. More black women ask for the manager. More black women look for a deal. More black women will try to look for some problem in their order in order to try and get off with a cheap male. So it's not specifically that white women are the only Karens out there. I think black women and white women can be Karens. But I do think black women are the biggest Karens, honestly. Also, as someone who was in the industry of fast food, I must say, personally to me, I've always thought that Many Spanish-speaking Latinos tend to be more of a problematic situation to the point where, like, they will try to... It's not that it's not that they're looking for a problem, though, so I don't know if we would include this with Karen specifically, but they do have a problem sometimes because they can't speak English. If they can't speak English, it's problematic for someone who is basically trying to get their order because what will happen is this they will talk to somebody who speaks spanish and then that spanish-speaking person might get their order wrong right now somehow in their head they think that the person who did not speak Spanish and could not speak to them and never did speak to them somehow got their order wrong, even though they don't even know what their order is. Like, I can't say that I would know what a Spanish-speaking customer's order is, but for some reason they'll blame me or blame someone else who is English-speaking who let a Spanish-speaking person do their order. And many of the time, the Spanish person who did their order was somebody who specifically was in the back, and they weren't in the front. So if they weren't in the front, then how were they supposed to do your order correctly if you understand how that works many people in the back are not familiar with the front work okay so for example if you are i had this happen when i was at mcdonald's when i was in my early 20s it's like 20 or 21 and i remember oh there was this one girl and she spoke spanish so she did the order right but she could not really understand how to do the order because she didn't know the menu because she was used to actually doing the food in the back, right? And I could not understand, like, Spanish. So I couldn't put the menu, her order in, right? So somehow they wanted to blame me, though I didn't even put any order in the menu because how can I put an order in when I don't even know what they're saying you get what I'm saying I can't I didn't understand what the lady ordered so when the girl put it in I didn't even know if it was right or wrong you know it was just kind of a guess of just letting this girl do it because the lady wasn't speaking any English so it's just kind of like, I don't know, like, honestly, to me, I think there's plenty of more issues in customer service than 
the supposed ephemeral white woman that's supposed to cause you so many different issues regarding uh, customer service, from my experience, at least. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't say that Latina women are Karens, per se. It's just that, like I said, when there's a com- miscommunication, then that's where the order goes wrong, you know. But with black women, yes, there is definitely a big Karen aspect to black women. Definitely. A true, true, true aspect to um, basically a Karen aspect where they're looking for a problem always. They're trying to talk to your manager. They're trying to get a deal. That's the main goal out of when they go to any restaurant, even if it's a really cheap restaurant. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're not even shopping. I mean, they're not even going somewhere where they're getting like some kind of fast food or some kind of sit down food or any food for that matter they could be going to try to get some kind of outfit at some store you know and they'll still try to talk to a manager to try and get a discount So it's just like always some kind of deal that they're trying to look for. It seems like they tend to be deal hunters, in my opinion. So, I mean, I don't really think it's really smart to be talking about Karens at this point when black women are the biggest Karens, according to this video as well. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and have a great day, guys. Bye.